kick. A nice long one carrying downfield. Hughes backs up five yards deep in the end zone, and he'll down it. So the Spartans will get it first and ten at their own play. Bob Atha kicks five yards deep in the end zone, and we'll have a touchback to start things off. Michigan State's offensive line will be... Uh, at tight end is Mark Bremer, left tackle Angelo Fields, left guard Jeff Wiska, center Matt Foster, right guard Rod Strata, right tackle will be Ted Grabenhorst, and the split end will be Derek Hughes. Here were the Spartans out of the huddle. Brian Clark is the quarterback. Motion to the right for Michigan State. The ball is given off to Smith, and he is smacked by Jerome Foster and Alvin Washington. Boy, they got to him, Marv, before he got the football from Brian Clark. Excellent penetration on the right side of the line. Stopped Smith Cole for a loss. Michigan State with a second down and 12. The line of scrimmage, the 18-yard line. Up over the ball. Spartan center, Matthew Foster. Wide receivers to the right and left. On the right side of the line, a flag goes down. Looked like Mark Bremer jumped the gun, but let's wait and see. That's 90, 91. That's who it was. The right end, the tight end. He's a good one. He's one of the uh, 16 Spartans, Marv, playing with injury. He had a broken uh, wrist a week ago, two weeks ago, and played last week with it very well. Eugene Bird on the other side, the great split end, has two broken bones in his hand. All right, Clark sets his team in an eye. The wing back starts in motion. There is a handoff to Smith. Smith finds a hole, eludes a tackler, and is brought down at about the 18-yard line by Marcus Merrick. Merrick is a freshman from Masary, Ohio. Number 36, and he just stayed in, uh, in position right there in the gap. Uh, as the play developed, he waited for him. Smith came right to him for the five-yard game. But this is the big third down play now. Hughes to the right for Michigan State. Pitch back goes to Smith. Smith running wide as the flag goes down. It's trapped behind the line of scrimmage. Gets to the night nice and is called up by Gary Doolin. Great amount of pursuit on that play. You've got one, two, three, four, seven red shirts over there, Mark. Play will be called back because I think Ohio State was offside on the play. The high back is Steve Smith. Clark handing off to Smith, going off tackle, and he's going to get pulled down at the 26. Short of the first down, Marcus Murray led the defensive charge for Ohio State. So now the Spartans have run out of downs and will have to kick, and Ray Stakowicz will be in the punt for Michigan State. You will see two of the finest punters in college football today. Ray Stakowicz of Michigan State, and of course Tom Orr. Stakowicz gets off a kick going, well, that didn't go too good, did it? Hits at the, and is down at the 40-yard line. Michigan State down the ball. It might have gotten a few additional yards, Kay. Well, it's hard to say. That wind, as we pointed out, is coming out of the open end of the field, the south end, and I think that held that fun of Stakowicz up for quite a bit. Now, whether it would have rolled further or not, we can't be sure, but the Buckeyes had good field position on their 40. Here's Ohio State's offensive line. Jaco at tight end, Burke at left tackle, Andrea at left guard. Law is the center, Fritz at right guard, Lukens at right tackle, and the split end is Gary Williams. Sleister hands off to the fullback, and there is a gain to the 46-yard line by Rick Volley. Bernie Hay, the middle guard of Michigan State, makes the stop at about the Ohio State 46. The Buckeye backfield, Sleister at quarterback, Murray at tailback, Volley at fullback, and Doug Donnelly is at the flanker position. Pleased to see Donnelly in there, Marv. He has uh, some stomach problems early in the week and was questionable. There is Sleister dropping back to pass, throws the bomb over the middle, caught by Donnelly, and he's going to go all the way, touchdown Ohio State. Touchdown Ohio State on a bomb from Sleister to Donnelly. Well, those ribs 
legs and his stomach ailment certainly didn't bother Doug Donnelly. We watched him before the game, and he looked very suspect. But there on the second play of the ball game, Art Schleister just dumped one right over the entire secondary of Michigan State. Donnelly gathered it in about the Michigan State 17. He obviously lost none of his speed, and there is a tremendous 54-yard touchdown pass. There you see Doug Donnelly coming off of the field now, and is he a happy Buckeye? That's the 20th pass reception by Donnelly this year and his third touchdown pass. He is just an electrifying receiver. A junior from Cambridge. Anikievsky in to try the extra point. Vladi is 27 of 29, boots it up and it's good. So it is seven to nothing in favor of Ohio State. And the Buckeyes didn't take long, did they? Two plays, I believe. Two plays, 60 yards. Uh, we're going to take another look at this one now as it sets up. You see our great blocking here now as he fakes the man going through the middle, drops back deep. Now watch, he just lost that downwind. And watch Donnelly about on the 17 if we gathered it in right, and he has it all alone. Only has the umpire there to run in with him. A 54-yard play, and this ball game mark is only 3 minutes and 11 seconds old. Kicked by Atha. It'll carry down a yard deep in the end zone, taken by Hughes. He's at the 10 to the 15, stopped at about the 17 yard line. Jim Laughlin, ever present Jim Laughlin, number five, is the first one downfield. Laughlin, a senior from Lindhurst, Ohio. Buckeye defensive line, left tackle Luther Henson, middle guard Tim Sawicki, right guard is, or right tackle is Gary Doolin. Hey. Ferguson and Laughlin, the outside linebackers. First and 10 for the Spartans at the 17-yard line. Ohio State shifts its defense now. There's the give to Smith, hit behind the line of scrimmage. Uh, I think it was Jerome Foster again. You're right again, Marv. That's the second play now uh, of the first series of downs both times. Jerome Foster has broken in number 55 and smeared Steve Smith for a loss. There it is on the replay. Look how he accelerates off the line of scrimmage. Boy, 55 is something, Mark. Three-yard loss, second and 13. What you didn't see on the replay was that shifting Ohio State line, and that followed up Michigan State's blocking assignments. Clark hands off to the first man through, and Paul Schramm gets a couple of yards out to about the 19. Alvin Washington is there to meet him. And Washington is just getting better and better each game. He really is. He was number two tackler on the team last year to Tom Cousineau, and this year started slowly. But boy, as it's going on now into the eighth game, he is a fine linebacker. The Buckeye secondary, Todd Bell at the roverback position. Cornerbacks are Mike Guess and Ray Ellis. Safety man is Vince Skillings. I don't know where uh, Luther Henson is, though, since Gary Doolin is starting, and uh, that's a change. Now it's a split back formation for Michigan State. Back to pass is Clark, has some time, throws it upfield, it's incomplete. The intended receiver was Derek Hughes, but the pass led him too much. Norman Burroughs is there for Ohio State defender. And we've seen another change in the secondary. Norman Burroughs in there on the passing down. I think that might have been the nickel defense that was in on that particular play. Fourth down and eight. Stakowicz gets off a dandy kick upfield that drives Mike Guess all the way back to the 29. He's to the 30, the 35, is in trouble and going to get upset at about the 35-yard line. Yeah, he's mad at himself. He uh, tried to backtrack, then he ran into one of his own blockers. And uh, he's a little disgusted with himself that he didn't break that back a little more. But it is a six-yard run back, and Mike has done a great job all year. The ball is at the 35-yard line, first and 10 for the Buckeyes. This is the second possession. Ohio State's only had the ball two plays from scrimmage, yet they lead 7 to nothing on that bomb from Sleister to Donnelly. Sleister hands off to Bali. Bali cracks on the left guard to the 39. Bernie Hay and Dan Bass. That's the name you hear quite often on defense for Michigan State. Dan Bass. Fine left interior linebacker. Hunter and Williams are split wide. Sleister dropping back to pass. Gets beautiful protection. Another bomb upfield just off the little bit beyond Chuck Hunter. Hunter couldn't quite get to it. 
<laughs> Boy, Art really threw that football. <laughs> I'll tell you, they're going for it all right now. That one was downwind, and uh, Art really unloaded it. That must have been about 60 yards in the air. A beautiful throw, and Chuck Gunner was indeed behind the secondary. Art is trying to take advantage of the window with it at his back in this first quarter. Fleischner on a draw play. They give it off to Calvin Murray. Murray fights to the 43. Twisting run by Calvin Murray up the middle. Stephen Otis brings him down, short of a first down. They will mark it at the 43, and now Tom Orris will come in to kick, and he will be kicking with the win. Now, the line of scrimmage is the 43, so don't be surprised if Orris doesn't put this way back. Orris, back in kick formation, good pass from center. The rush is on. Orris was really rushed, and uh, as a result, it hurt his kick. Look well, at the bounce, Mark. Not all that much. Look at that bounce. All the way down to the six-yard line. The kick really wasn't that far, but Orris got the good bounce, and it carried to the six-yard line. Well, that's 51 yards. I'll tell you, that's some fun, actually. But he was really rushed. They stormed him on that one, and uh, whether they got a piece of it or not, I'm not sure. But look where it sits now. Nine men rushed on that play for Michigan State. All right, Brian Clark will be directing the team. His father, you know, is Monty, uh, yeah, Monty right. Clark, the uh, head coach of the Detroit Lions. Clark looks over the Buckeye defense. Long count, must be calling an audible. Hands the ball off to the fullback, Andy Schramm, and Schramm gets it out to about the 12. A lot of Buckeye or Ohioans on this Michigan State team, and Andy Schramm, of course, is one of them from Finley. Alvin Washington was the first Buckeye there. Harry Doolin assisted. They're going to rule the ball dead back at about the 12-yard the, uh, line. So it'll be second down and four for the Spartans. Seven to nothing, Ohio State leads. We're in the first period. Spartans are in and high. Again, it's Schramm trying the left side. He's got a first down. Marcus Merrick makes the tackle, but some good blocking there by Angelo Fields and by Jeff Wiska on the left side of the Spartan line, and that's the first first down for the Spartans today. Right. They spread that line out, uh, have huge gaps in it, and uh, he picked the hole very well. Then two runs by Schramm, and they're out to the 19. They've changed the field position a little bit. Angelo Fields looks like an entire left side of the line by himself. He weighs 295. That's and down 50, Mark. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Split back formation. Clark with a ball, hands it off to Middleton. Stop behind the line of scrimmage. Tim Sawicki, Marv, moved just, uh, he, he jumped on the, uh, on the signal counts. You can watch it if you have another look at it. Now watch him, he just switches at the last minute. And he follows that play just beautifully. Runs right through the interference. And uh, it's, a, uh, it's a little bit of a loss, two-yard loss. Actually, Sawicki shifted into the hole, and Schramm ran right at him. Second and 12 now, back at the 17. Again, it's the split-back formation. Five-man defensive line, back to pass to Clark. Has time. Now they close in. There's the pass thrown to the fullback, who has stopped at the 18-yard line. Schramm got the ball, and then Washington got him right at the 18. Boy, Alvin Washington didn't give an inch. He hit him right in the midsection, and Alvin didn't budge. That's Jerome Foster, K, who isn't getting up. Yeah, he is having a little bit of trouble there. I'll tell you, Alvin Washington really made a stick on that play. Greg Evans and Billy Hill go out to look at uh, Jerome Foster, who now is uh, on his back. Spartans have Clark going back to pass, gets good protection, outlet pass, and to Smith, and he's hit immediately by Alvin Washington. Excellent one-on-one -on -one defense by Washington. Marv, that becomes a, a six-yard sack. Watch Alvin Washington, number 15, now. There's obviously good coverage there, and Alvin gets in there, and boy, he does not let Smith out of his grasp. Gets him clear back at the 13. 
Now it's fourth and 17. Stakowicz gets off a low, strange kick upfield that takes a lateral bounce and goes out of bounds at the Michigan State 46-yard line. So the Buckeyes will get the ball on the Spartan side of the 50, first and 10 at the Michigan State 46. This is Ohio State's third possession. Michigan State has had the ball three times. Well, the last time Marv, the Bucks wanted to get rich quick and they went for it in a hurry and missed and had to give up the football. Let's see how they go at it this time. Bolly and Murray in the eye positions. Sleister on the option, running wide, gonna keep it and is brought down at about the 44. Got about two yards from the 46 to the 44. John McCormick, the right outside linebacker, got him. Donnelly in motion to the right. That'll spread the defense. There is Murray going off right tackle, and he doesn't get much. He's got about two. Bernie Hay, the middle guard, made the stop. Hay is a very active athlete, 6'3", 234, from Riviera Beach, Florida. Now, make no mistake, there's some good athletes on this Michigan State team. As hurt as they may be, and in the throes of a four-game losing streak, there is talent on this team. And a wounded team, uh, Marv, sometimes is a little more dangerous. Indeed they are. Third down and six, line of scrimmage, the Spartan 42. Donnelly starts in motion to the right. Sleister does the reverse pivot, makes one man, goes to the 40, to the 35. He's got a first down to the Michigan State 33. And Sleister got a lot of that yards running backwards. He certainly did. That play may have looked like it was a busted play, but then again, it might have been a, a naked reverse from the quarterback spot. Look at him now. He's got the ball in his left hand. Does a nice job. Now he spins around and he gets another four or three yards backwards. First down for Ohio State. The line of scrimmage, the Michigan State 33. Donnelly to the right, Chuck Hunter to the left for the Buckeyes. Pitch out to Murray. Murray off right side and fights his way to about the 30. Might mark at the 31. Larry Savage, outside linebacker, and that man Bernie Hay is once again in there. Very active middle guard, number 93. And keep your eye on him. Second down and seven. Sleister back to pass. Gets good protection. Goes one over the middle. Caught by Murray. And Murray is pulled down at about the... Looks like the 28 is where they'll mark it. Little pass over the middle. Murray may have lost a couple Watch of yards. The, uh, there you're watching now, uh, Murray now goes into the line. Actually, he's the outlet man on this, and Art has nobody else to throw to. He's going to lose a little bit going backwards, but uh, that was the release man, and uh, Cal's doing his job, and there's a short pickup of three more yards. Freshman Tim Spencer comes in at the eye back position now for Ohio State. Gets the pitch out from Sleister, runs wide, got a first down, down the sideline, slams into a man at about the 12-yard line. And I mean Spencer lowered the boom. He hit Marshall and Milheiser. Spencer lowered the boom. I like that. Watch this freshman. This kid can fly. And they have been grooming him, uh, bringing him along slowly. But look at him. Put that head down on the sidelines. And he's got a first down at the 12. That's the Buckeyes' third, Mark. A very strong, authoritative run by Tim Spencer. He is a freshman out of St. Clairsville. And a good one. Murray is back in at the I-back spot now. Back to pass goes Sleister, gets good protection. Touchdown, Ohio State. Right over the middle, and I think it's Donnelly again. You're thinking it's very correct. He's got that blue undershirt on, and you don't mistake it. And Hart really threaded the ball through the needle there. I'll tell you. Watch this now. This is a tremendous throw. Downwind through. Before there was a little heat on that one. And it's right, right into Donnelly's arms. Here it is from the ground level camera now. Our men are really on the ball. Boy, there's Mustard on that football, and Donnelly has it in the end zone, his second touchdown catch of the ball game. And if you're a Michigan State defender, you can't cover a man much better than they covered Donnelly. Absolutely, unless he stuck his hand around the side. Extra point by Anakievsky is right through there. So it is 14 to nothing, Ohio State, and that Sleister to Donnelly combination looks very, very good. And that now, uh, Marv, makes it 
eight straight ball games this year that Arch Schuster has thrown for at least one touchdown. Take another look at it on the ground now. I'll tell you, Art really has fine protection. The line up front has done a job, but look at the trajectory of that football. They can block that one about 95 miles an hour, too, on the fastball, and Doug Donnelly has his second touchdown catch of the young ball game. They went 46 yards, Marv, in seven plays for that one. Art now is two out of three for 56 yards. There's Athas kickoff, a nice one going downfield. It'll go five yards, and Hughes is going to run it out. And he's to the 20, to the 25, breaks into the clear. Down the far sideline, and he is collared and thrown out of bounds. Boy, was that some run back. And you can see this kid has been good all year on that particular play. He can really run back kickoff. Now you see how deep he was. He was a good five yards in the end zone, and he brings that thing all the way back to the Buckeye 46, which incidentally is the same position where the Buckeyes started their touchdown march a minute ago, Michigan State's 46. We almost had a face mask there, too. But that's great field position. Spartans, by that excellent return by Derek Hughes, have it first and 10 at the Buckeye 46. Brian Clark against a five-man line. Gets the ball, drops back to pass, throws one out in the flat, it's dropped. It is dropped by Alonzo Middleton. That's all that you can say. Uh, there's no other word, Marv. It's just flat dropped. It's, uh, he's wide open out there, and he took his eyes off of the football. He wanted to run before he had it. He just dumps it out there, and he says, where did it go? All right, it's second down and 10 for the Spartans. The line of scrimmage is the 46-yard line in Ohio State Territory. Wide to the left is Jim Williams. To the right is Gene Bird. Split back formation. Clark dropping back to pass, has time, throws it over the middle, under throws. Uh, Bird incomplete. A uh, Detroit writer, Mark, told me earlier today that uh, in an early game this year that, uh, in fact, two different games, the ball has just fallen right off of Clark's hands, and that one looked like it did then. He wasn't rushed that badly. He just threw it into the ground. It was a knuckle ball that broke down. Third down and 10. And Clark is two for five, and they're add up for a minus five yards on his passing, so you can see what their problem has been. State now. That means five defensive backs. Now the Spartans shift into an eye. There is the give to the to Steve Smith. Smith finds a hole, stops short of the first down as he is upset at the 37. Ray Ellis came up from the secondary to get in, and Norman Burroughs was also there. They're going to be short of the first down by. Well, about a yard. And they'll probably go for it down on the 37. Still 209 left in this period. I would guess they'll go for it down 14. Uh, Darrell Rogers figures there's nothing to lose. The Bucks are going to get caught with too many men. In and uh, Keith Ferguson calls timeout. Graham is the fullback. The ball is given to Schramm, and he gets it. He got it. First down at the 35-yard line. Uh, Keith Ferguson is motioning otherwise, but from our vantage point, it looks like he has it. Yeah, let's wait for him to unpile. I believe you're right, but there was just enough. They're going to call for a measurement, but there was just enough of the delay on the part of Schramm going in there. They had him stopped originally, but then he stuttered and went left a little bit, and I think he's got it, but we'll have to let the uh, chain gang tell us. Well, you know, Kay, where they put the ball, now I'm not so sure. I honestly thought that he had gotten a little deeper, but uh, I have to agree with you on that, and, and did not make it, and I don't know what Darrell Rodgers will think of that one, but uh, I, I can't believe it, Marv. I, uh, well, credit the Buckeye defense. They did what they had to do, and they didn't have to change in their hands. The other guys did, but uh, that's a whistler, I'll tell you. The Ohio State 36-yard line. The Spartans couldn't quite get that yard. 
In motion is Donnelly. Schleister on a draw play to Murray. Murray's got good yardage up the middle. Gets it down to the 44-yard line. A good gain by little Calvin Murray off the right side behind the blocking of Lukens and Chris. Michael Murray here on the replay, number 43. He's got a new jersey on. He did a little hitch there. Nice running. Straight up the middle, but he did a shoulder shrug. And he's got it out to the 44-yard uh, line. Second down and two now. Ball's at the 44. The Buckeyes must go to the 46 for a first down. This time it's given off to Bonnie, and he's got a first down with room to defend. Crosses the 50, goes to the Spartan 46. Dan Bass and Mike Decker. That's a 10-yard run. Back. Interior linebacker, Scotty. The fifth first down of the game as the Buckeyes are now into Michigan State territory again. That's 46. Paul Campbell still has a foot injury. Technically, he could play, but he's not quite 100%. Again, it is Folly, and he's got good yardage to the 39-yard line. Bass makes the stop again for the Spartans. Second down, three. Line of scrimmage is the 39. Time running down here in the first quarter, 14 to nothing, Ohio State leading Michigan State. Donnelly goes in motion to the left. Murray gets a first down within the 30. 25, he's out of bounds at about the 25-yard line. Calvin can gallop, and he went right down the sidelines till he ran out of running room, and he got bumped out on the 25. Watch him there. There's the handoff by Art, and uh, he just goes wide and outruns the end man there. Gets his way around the cornerback, and now he tiptoes down the sidelines, gets bumped out at the 25. Four first down. McCormick missed him, and Anderson missed him in there. is in the lineup. There's the ball pitched back to one of the Buckeyes and the gain is to the 24-yard line and let's see who that was. Campbell. Ball's first action in some time now with that sore toe and he comes out. Michigan State nothing. We'll be right back for the start of the second quarter after this brief pause. This is the Ohio Public Broadcasting Network. Ohio State Buckeyes lead Michigan State 14 to nothing as we start the second quarter. Ohio goes into a ship now as Donnelly goes in motion to the right. Schleister back to pass, has time, throws the outlet pass to Bali. He's at the 20, the 15, tackle at about the 14 yard line. First down, Ohio State. Little outlet pass to Bali. It's exactly what it was. He has no, nowhere to go on it uh, with his deep men. His primary receivers are all taken. So Bali just drifts out into the secondary there, and he's wide open and free, and he's got the first down, 10 yards, down to the Spartan 14. A great bit of thinking on the part of Rick Bali. Good recognition by Art Schleister. the ball, hands it off to Murray, and Murray goes to the 10. Might be inside the 10. We'll wait for them to mark it. Ray Mitchell makes the stop. Going to mark it at the 9. So it's a pickup of 5. Let's call it 2nd and 5 at the 9. Once again, though, a good uh, bit of charge by the high State interior line. They are controlling that line of scrimmage the way Earl Bruce likes it, and Cal Murray knows where to go. Donnelly in motion to the right. Schleister does the reverse pivot. Top to the left. Pitches at the third. He's at the five. He's out of bounds at about the four. Out of bounds by Michael Marshall. There's Darrell Rogers watching the action on the sidelines. I think Cal's going to be about a football length short of the first down. And Darrell is quite concerned. You know, Marv, his coaching debut three years ago was right here in the high stadium, and the Buckeyes roughed him up 49 to 21, and that's the only time that Darrell has faced the Buckeyes. Now he's seeing an instant replay, he feels. 
tight ends are in there now for Ohio State. Wally and Jaco. Goal line defense for Michigan State. Sleister with the ball, gives it off to Murray. He appears to have a first down of left tackle. As Murray gets to the two. Well, no flags down, Marv. I think he's got it. Jack Kirkley, 245-pound freshman from Greensburg, Pennsylvania, makes the stop. It is a first down. They're going to mark it at the three instead. That's the eighth Ohio State first down of the game. went a little bit wider uh, inside the left end, and he scores. Now watch the fake to Bali. Bali goes in and plows into the tackle. Art goes in almost untouched. They get him at the goal line. It didn't matter. That was a 74-yard march in 10 plays. Beautifully executed. So this Buckeye offense is in high gear again. And keep in mind, they've scored 236 points in the first seven games. Anikievsky in to try the extra point. Great casting, no to hold. Step down, it is kicked, it is right to it. 21 to nothing, Ohio State lead. There's the kick by Atha. It carries a yard deep in the end zone, and Hughes is going to run it out again. Out to the 20, upset it. Bubble! Gets it, but they may blow it dead. Now let's see. The man who hit him, uh, Marv, and really hit him is out cold on the 20-yard line, and he, they're both down. As a matter of fact, boy, I'll tell you that was a real collision. Is Campbell the injured well, guy? I, I, I can't see uh, whether it is or not. I think it is. Though. He really decked it. Both of those fellows. Now the Michigan State player is moving. No, it's not Campbell. It's. Uh, well, I'm sorry, I can't pick up his number. Watch this hit now, coming in from the side, right there, and he never moved after he hit him, and neither did the spark. Boy, I'll tell you, that was some crash. For Michigan State, the ball's at the 23-yard line, first and 10. Spark. Dropping back to pass, gets good protection, throws it in the flat. It is caught by Bird, and he's out of bounds. Bird caught the ball in first down territory, and Mike Guess is there to drive him out of the 35. Watch Bird now. He sets up very well. Brian gets the ball to him. That's an awfully long throw, and he does pick up about 12 yards. The third first down of the game for the Spartans. So Michigan State gets the ball first and 10 at the Spartan 35-yard line now. Nick Finn points out that Jerome Foster is back in the lineup for Ohio State, so his injury was not of a serious nature. Unbalanced line for Michigan State. The ball is given off to Smith. Smith eludes the tackler and gets to the 41. Good run by Smith because he could have been tackled back at the 37 or 8. Well, he's their leading ball carrier, and he's done a fine job all year. There's not much question about that. He's averaging five yards a carry, gained 603 yards coming to this game. So uh, we said before, Marv, there is talent on this team. Eugene Bird showed some of that a moment ago, a fine receiver. Second down and three. The line of scrimmage is the Michigan State 42-yard line. It's an unbalanced line for the Spartans. The ball is given off to Smith. He's got first down territory as he goes off right tackle to the 47. Al Washington beats him. Off the long count. Have you noticed that? He really, uh, Brian Clark is apparently trying to throw the Buckeyes off on their jumping around at the line of scrimmage. He's stunning. That four-yard gain, though, picked up their fourth first down. Michigan State has it first and 10 at the Spartan 46 with 12 minutes and 25 seconds left in the second period. Mark to Smith. Smith goes nowhere. Got at most a yard to the 47, and don't bet on that. 
And once again, look at all the red shirts around him. Jimmy Laughlin helped him up. Laughlin, Merrick, and Foster were probably the first three there, but even that trio had helped. It is right at the 46, so really no gain at all. Let's call it second down and 10. Here's to see Jerome Foster back in action. Third to the left for Michigan State. He's a fine receiver. Ball is given off to Smith. Hit behind the line of scrimmage by Sawicki. Sawicki went on the snap of the ball, and he was right in the backfield. He just jumped right around the center, and he met Smith, and, uh, well, there it is. It's a yard loss. Watch Sawicki. Is he quick? Quick to Sawicki. And there he's back on the 45. And does he ever kick the football? Wow. Eight yards deep in the end zone, and the ball goes all the way back on the track. Well, that's a 55-yard punt, but uh, and that was downwind, of course. Uh, into the wind in the first quarter, he had punts of 34, 33, and 41 yards. So there's a win factor here, no question. Placer on a handoff to Bali, and Bali hammers into the 25. He's got about five yards, and Bernie Hay makes the stop. Well, very impressed with Michigan State's middle guard. 93 you like, huh? Yes, he is good. And I'll tell you, though, uh, you watch uh, you touch Tommy Wall. He does a pretty nice job with him. Second down and five. Line of scrimmage is the 25. Donnelly in motion to the left. Murray. Running off tackle is trapped and gets nothing. Dan Pass messed up that whole play. Fine defensive play there by the 217-pound senior. Well, you're right. He was trying to run off tackle, but there was just no place to go. He tried to improvise once he ran into that stone wall. And uh, so now the Buckeyes are faced with a third down and five. And they have been, well, they've been successful three out of four times. Murray had his jersey ripped, so Tim Spencer comes in to replace him. Third down and five now. That's two jersey rips now for Cal. He leads the team in that. Donnelly goes in motion to the right. Option play to the left. Sleister carrying. He's got a first down. He's out of bounds at the top of 29. McCormick and Bass are there to get him, but Sleister is something. Well, he got six yards, needed five, and that's exactly, he knows where he has to go. You watch hard. He fakes the volley there now and also fakes the pitch. Uh, they don't go for it. He puts it inside, gets across the 30, and that is the ninth first down of the game for the Bucks. Mike Marshall of Michigan State overran the play, and then he played the pitch man, and Hart cut behind him and got the first down. Mike Marshall, the pitch man? Wait a minute now. He was an old relief pitcher, wasn't he, out of Michigan State? Yeah, he was. There's a handoff to Bali, and Bali goes to the 35. Hay and Kirkley. Nice cut by Rick on that, wasn't it? Yes. He had started wide and then cut back toward the middle. Second He's an down. exciting ball player. He's really got enthusiasm. The elite cheers. And the... Always does it when one of the other Buckeyes, though, does something. Then you'll see Rick jumping up and down and exhorting the crowd. Wide to the left is Tyrone Hicks. Wide to the right is Chuck Hunter. Now uh, Hicks starts in motion. Pitch back goes to Spencer. Spencer off tackle. Got a first down, and he piled into it. Mark Anderson. I'll say this, Spencer isn't afraid to hit him. Boy, he does. Uh, Chip put his head down, but I'll tell you, he got some fine blocking out there on the wing from Jaco and Ernie Andrea, who had pulled, and Rick Volley right there with him. And he split the back, so once he saw that little opening and Spencer just knifed right between it, and he's out to the 42, the 10th yeah. first down. First and 10, Ohio State. The line of scrimmage, the Buckeye 42, second period, 8.23 left, 21 to nothing. Ohio State leads. Murray back in at the I-back spot. The ball is given off on a reverse to Donnelly. Donnelly can't quite get through. Pull down at the 47. Mitchum wouldn't let go, and then Bass moved in, and that was the end of the play. Donnelly, the ball carrier. 
Well, that's that flanker reverse that they've been trying to run. Incidentally, Eastmore had put that into their attack last week and uh, had it on the uh, bulletin board in a picture that Walnut Ridge picked up, but they said they'd copied it from Ohio State. Isn't that something? Took a picture of the coach and the player, and there was the play in the background. Right there for Walnut Ridge to see. The ball is given off to Bali. Bali off right guard, and he's got a first down to the Michigan State 46. There was some excellent blocking there by Ken Fritz and by Joe Lukens. Joe Lukens, the freshman out of Cincinnati Moeller, has really become a player on this ball play. Sierra Bruce plotting a little strategy there as we get ready to go back into action. First and ten, line of scrimmage to Michigan State, 47. Wide receivers to the left. Sleister on the reverse to Hicks. Hicks off the left side is upset at the 43-yard line. Deep reverse. Now Hicks would li had lined up as a slot man to the left. Watch it on the replay here now. Hicks comes from the other side this time. Now he's trying to use Ernie Andreas block there, and he does. He gets around the bend, but there's other men coming up in pursuit, and uh, Tyrone gets it only down to the 43. Second down and seven at the Michigan State 43. That's a lot of running just for three yards. Tyrone Hicks can fly, though. We know that. Big 10 indoor 60-yard dash champion. for the Buckeyes now. In motion goes Donnelly to the left. Schleister dropping back to pass. Has time. Throws it upfield. Caught by Donnelly. The 14-yard line. First down Ohio State. And there's that combination again. It is. And Doug looks like he's shaking up just a little bit on that. I think, watch it on the replay. Uh, Doug goes down the left side and slants right back across the middle on the fly. He is really moving. Just the ball a little bit behind him. But he has it down to the 13. Now, there's he does he goes in Now he cuts right back across the middle. And the ball is just behind him a little bit. But Doug does the first thing. He gets the football. Then he worries about where he is. And he's down to the 13. Donnelly has come out of the lineup. He has a sore back. Ball is pitched back to uh, Murray. Murray spins. Rumbles. Michigan State recovers. Murray had some yardage and then dropped the football. And John McCormick falls on the ball for the Spartans down at the nine-yard line. So that kills the Ohio State drive. Here it is on the ground level camera. The Buckeyes have not been able to be stopped by the Spartans, so they stopped themselves, although that was an awfully strong hit. And Calvin coughed the ball up at the nine, and you pointed out John McCormick has it for the Spartans. 5.57 left in the first half. Again, a long count. There is a counterplay to Smith, and he bounces off the tackler at the 10 and gets it out to the 13. Marcus Merrick really hit Smith, but Smith bounced off the impact and got three yards to the 13-yard line. Smith is going to be bruised when this ball game is over. Second down. Six. Ball is at the 13. They begin at the nine. High formation. Back to pass is Clark. Throws one out in the flat. It is over the head of Gene Bird incomplete. Bird had found a seam in the Buckeye defense, but the ball was thrown over his head. And they one more time uh, put Brian Clark on his back. Uh, they had a good rush on him there. That's really helping the Buckeye secondary, Marvin. The secondary that was so maligned early in the year has pointed out that with the better pass rush, they can do a better job of coverage. Although that one wasn't that well covered, the ball was thrown poorly because of the rush. No doubt about it, that rush means so much to a defense. And it's so upsetting when you're the passer. Split back formation. Clark going straight back to pass. Doolin's rushing in, they got Doolin blocked. Keith Ferguson slips, and uh, Clark is gonna get tackled. Ferguson ultimately got him. 
And the tackle is made at the 10 yard line. Evidently, Clark just couldn't find anybody open. Well, there again, the rush uh, went in. Two of the Buckeyes slipped, but in the meantime, the secondary is doing its job. Brian Clark had no place to throw the football. He wisely hung on to it, but now Stasiewicz is going to have to uh, punt it. Here is Stakowicz back to kick. He's kicking from about the goal line, gets off a, a dandy upfield, although it goes out of bounds. He didn't get a uh, particularly good direction. He got enough distance. See where they mark it out. Well, they're going to mark it out at the 41, so that's only a 31-yard punt, isn't it? Yeah, it's only a 23-yard punt, isn't it? Did he punt from the 16? Oh, I thought it was the 10. Well, I don't know. First and 10, Ohio State. Line of scrimmage, the Michigan State 41. Fleister does the reverse pivot, eludes a tackler, and is collared at the 41. That play just didn't develop. Steve Otis is there to get him, a senior from Chicago, 210-pounder. Jimmy Gale is in at the high back or left half position for Ohio State. Second down and 10, line of scrimmage for Michigan State 41. 21 to nothing, Ohio State leading. Back to pass is Schleister. The rush is on. The ball was thrown incomplete, and down goes Schleister. And, and I hurt. think he's hurt. Yeah. 89 hit him, and he really belted him. That was Isaac Griffin moving in quickly, and uh, watch him come in. He really puts a shot on him. 93 came in from the one side. Uh, Bernard McKay. McKay that you like so well, Mark. I don't like him so well now. <laughs> Neither does Arthur, but I'll tell you, Art's pretty resilient. He bounces right back. Third down and 10 at the Spartan 41. Fleester again back to pass. Eludes one man, throws one downfield over the fingertips of Gary Williams at the five-yard line. And Art threw that ball like a bullet into the wind. Boy, that was a well-thrown ball, and Art was rushed on that one now. The protection's breaking down just a little bit, but he did elude a man and got away. His left arm, he seems to be fairing as he came off the field, and you could see. But uh, it certainly didn't hurt his right arm. He really threw that football. You know, he's hurt his left wrist. Okay? Uh, you can see Greg Evans yeah. down there looking at it. Meanwhile, Tom Morris is in the kick for Ohio State. Kind of a high pass from the center. Morris aims for the sidelines and doesn't get it. That's too bad because that'll hurt his running air. He aimed for the sidelines and, of course, was trying to kick inside the 10, but didn't come all that close. Kicked it out at the 21. About to 24, I believe. Or 24, oh, yeah, yeah, right. Ryan Clark is in there at quarterback for the Spartans. 3.49 left in the first half. Back to pass is Clark. Has all the time in the world. Throws it upfield. It is caught by Bird, who eludes the man. He is running out of bounds. The 49 or 50-yard line. Gene Bird caught the ball. Boy, Ray Ellis didn't give any ground, though, uh, after he made his uh, change of direction. Uh, he has all kinds of time to throw on this one. There's good pass protection for him, and he just waits for Bird to come open. Now he does. Reverses his direction. Ray Ellis does, too, on the left, and he doesn't get much yardage out of it. Ray finally runs him out of bounds at midfield. Spartans ball, first and 10 at the 50-yard line. Bird to the right, and to the left is Jim Williams. Clark dropping back to pass. The rush is on. Clark eludes one man, stumbles and falls. If you saw Gary Doolin coming at you like that, you might stumble and fall too. Tim Sawicki was in there. Watch him run him out of it now. Now the rush is a little bit better, and he can't find a man. He says, uh-oh, I better get out of here. Sawick was really coming, and now here comes Doolin and for Jerome Foster, and they just faked him off his feet for a five-yard loss. Second down and 15, the loss is back to the Michigan State 45. Three minutes even remain now in the second period. Five-man defensive line. Clark dropping back to pass. The blitz is on. Clark gives ground. Merrick rushes him. The pass is intercepted by Ohio State. Intercepted. I 
think it was Vince Skilling. A diving interception by Vince Skillings. And there again, Clark was rushed off his feet, clear back at the 30, and he's hurt. Watch him. He wants to get out of there. That's Marcus Merrick, the freshman on him. A good block there. Now he throws it under the rest. Watch this diving catch by Vince Skellings, and then he really gets clobbered right there, head on. But he's got the ball at the Spartan 40 with 2.50 left in the quarter, Marv. Wide to the right is Donnelly. To the left is Gary Williams. Draw play, given off to Bolly. Bolly fights his way to the 33. Make, I'm sorry, that's Gale. Gale it is. So the gain is eight, second and two. Line of scrimmage, the 32 and a half yard line. Wide to the right is Chuck Hunter. In the slot is Donnelly. Ball is given off to Bali. Bali finds a hole. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Rick Bali. Down the right sideline. Fine run by Bali. 32 yards. That's fine, all right. Number 22 goes 32. And the Buckeyes have their fourth touchdown of the ball game. And look at him in the end zone. Watch, here we go on. Rick again runs right through that tackle. Now he goes to the sideline. He escapes number 16. He escapes another one. Dances down the sidelines. The Penguins in. He gets shoved. But oh boy, did he go 32 yards for the Buckeyes. Watch it again now. Good blocking there in the initial, right at the line of scrimmage. And now he'll run right out of about three tackles. And number 13 comes up and in desperation just gives him a friendly shove into the end zone. Vladi Anikievsky will come in to try his fourth extra point of the afternoon. He's three for three so far today. Extra point is up and good. 28 to nothing, Ohio State leading. Anikievsky is now 31 of 33 in extra points this season. There's the kick by Atha. Dandy kick, but the wind just holds it up. It's taken by Smith at the five. He's at the 10, the 15, the 20, spins and drops. And a flag is down. Clipping will be called on Michigan State, I believe. Norman Burroughs made the tackle, but I suspect we'll have something here. The flag has been dropped at the 16-yard line. And they're talking to Jimmy Laughlin, and it looks like it's holding. At least that was the preliminary signal. Very impressive stats. First and 10 for the Spartans at their own eight yard line now. There's the ball given off to Smith. Smith eludes the tackler and then can't elude another one. And uh, they're going to get uh, Sawicki, I believe it was. No, it's Keith Ferguson. Uh, Jerome Foster hit him first, spun him around, threw him into, watch Jerome Foster, 55, leaped out there, spun him around. Now watch Keith Ferguson, 65, come up and clean it up with help from Jimmy Loughlin. All that running, Smith loses a yard from the eight back to the seven. Well, actually, Jerome Foster caused it. Keith Ferguson cleaned it up. Martins have it second and 11 with a minute 29 left in the first half. Back to pass is Clark from the end zone, throws one out in the flat, incomplete. Threw it way out in the flat. Threw it out in the flat. Incomplete. <laughs> So the ball will come back to the seven yard line. It will be third down and 11. Clock stops now at 121. And not once this ball game have they converted on third down. This will be their seventh opportunity. They need 11 yards this time. The Buckeye defense, Marv, just continues to impress me. Yes, they've been very sharp again. Pitches the ball back to Smith. Smith running wide, and he runs into all kinds of trouble at the 10-yard line. And I mean there was pursuit on that play. You see red shirts everywhere, and uh, Alvin Washington, I think, was the one who finally made the tackle. But you're right. There was just there must have been six red shirts over there. Stakowitz will have another opportunity to punt with the win. High pass from center. Dandy kick. Dandy kick. Over the head of Guess. The ball's going to go all the way into the end zone. Well, that's 90 yards is all. 
That's only a 90-yard punt. A 90-yard punt. Now uh, we got some discussion, but I see no. Oh, yes, there is a flag clear over on the far side by the Michigan State uh, 25. That's Nine. the longest punt I've ever seen. I have to agree with you. Yes, it is. Wilmer Esbo had one in the stadium uh, many, many moons ago that somebody said 180 something, but this one's 90. That was long even before it started doing its dance on that super turf. And K, it looks like they can forget it. Oh, what a shame. Flag down, and it's against Michigan State. He'll be kicking from eight yards deep in the end zone now. Gets a good pass from center. A fair rush. The kick goes downfield. It's taken a fumble out of bounds at about the, well, let's see where it did go out. It was touched at the 46, and then Brian Swartz fumbled it out of bounds, and they say it went out. But he kicked it out of bounds. He fumbled it and it went to the field and then his right foot uh, did it, the rest of it. He kicked it over to his buddies on the bench. So it's at the Ohio State 49. Now will Ohio go for still another bomb? Let's see. Sleister handing off to Donnelly. Donnelly is to the 40. On that reverse to the man in motion. And it's a first down for Ohio State. Watch it on the replay. Uh, Donnelly, uh, number 47 on reverse, does a nice bit of broken field running there. He gets it down to the Spartan 40, uh, where the Buckeyes call timeout with 33 seconds left. Bruce is a resourceful coach. He's got three wide receivers in there. Back to pass goes Sleester. Throws one over the middle. Incomplete. It was aimed at Ty Hicks, and the ball was pretty much on target, but it was incomplete. Uh, it looked like it might have been back of him just a little bit, but uh, now again, he's throwing into that stiff breeze. It'll hold the ball up some, although Art's got an awfully strong arm. It is second down in 10. Ball comes back to the Spartan 40. Now Hicks goes out, and Chuck Hunter comes in. That play only consumed five seconds. Wide to the left is Gary Williams back to passes. Sleister throws one out in the flat. Deflected, incomplete. Was right on target to Hunter, but cutting in front was a defender, Mike Marshall, and he tipped it away. That's right, it was a nice play by Mike Marshall. He just got enough of it to keep it out of the hands of the Buckeyes. Third down and 10, 24 seconds remain. Ohio State gotten a lot of plays in in a relatively short period of time. Two wide receivers to the left. Sleister back to pass. Gets good protection. Throws over the middle. Intercepted. This could go. Well, it will not go all the way now as he's bumped out of bounds. Picked off by John McCormick. He intercepted that on the 29-yard line, and he brought it back out almost to midfield. This one's underthrown, too, and again, maybe the wind did it. Art has good protection on this one, and he throws that one just a little short. He's got it on about the 28-yard line, returns to the 49. Well, the Spartans get the football back now at the 49-yard line in Michigan State Territory, 17 seconds left. All changed hands in about the last two and a half minutes. Split back formation, back to passes. Brian Clark has time, throws it upfield, batted down. Merrick got a hand on it and messed it up. Bird was the intended receiver. He was about 10 yards beyond Merrick, but he was covered by Mike Giss and by Todd Bell. Second and 10. We it, had five plays, Marv, in uh, 26 seconds. Of course, they've all been passes. This last play took just five seconds. Still 12 seconds remain. Second and 10. Clark back to pass. Throws one out in the flat. Oh, almost picked up by Laughlin. And that would have been six points, but Laughlin couldn't hold on. Look at Jimmy Laughlin over there. He says, oh, my, I was in. It's all right. He did his job. He knocked the ball down, but he wanted six points. That's all his. And as he discussed it. One of the Spartan linemen, Rod Strata, a guard, limps off. He was back there on pass protection and came out second best on that play. 
seven seconds left now. Third and ten at the Spartan 49. 28 to nothing, Ohio State winning big. Back to press is Brian Clark. Has time, throws one upfield. Incomplete, and it's <laughs> my, my guess is upset now. And the Spartan receiver is down as Alvin Washington pats him on the leg, and he is hurt. Now you watch Eugene Bird go down here now, and this ball is tipped about three times. He goes way in the air, and he really got undercut by Todd Bell, and he was hurt on that one. Anderson presumably will be trying it. He is a left-footed kicker. It is set down, it is kicked, and it will be short. Well, it's maybe 20 yards short. It's into the Buckeye band down there, and that's the half, Marvin. So the gun sounds. That is the end of the first half, and the score is Ohio State 28, Michigan State nothing. We'll be back with the start of the second half after this pause. This is the Ohio Public Broadcasting Network. He's a sidewinder, so he approaches it at an angle. There's the kick, and he just kicks it way out of the field. So it'll be a, a touchback with room to spare, and Ohio State will get it first and 10 at the 20-yard line. That one lit five yards out of the end zone. He really put his foot into that. Doug Donnelly, uh, incidentally, we forgot, has carried twice for 12 yards in addition to those three receptions. Donnelly starts in motion to the right. A flag goes down as the right side of the Ohio State line jumped. The play was into the middle, a very short gain, but let's see what the situation is. I think they stopped it even before the play. Uh, the ball was snapped. It looked like Joe Lucas jumped. Illegal procedure called against Ohio State. Not much doubt about that. Somebody has a big beach ball. The ball is given off to Calvin Murray, and Murray is put down at the 20, at the 19-yard uh, line by Jim Burroughs, the right cornerback of Michigan State. Rather vigorously, he was put down. I'm interested to see uh, how Arch Leister's left wrist is. He has it pretty heavily taped. He's clapping his hands. Out. Well, his wrist isn't taped. But it looked like he hurt it near the end of the uh, second quarter mark. Yes, it did. Second down and 11 now. The ball is at the 19-yard line. Donnelly starts in motion to the left. This will give two wide receivers there. Sleister options left, keeps it, is at the 20, tries to reverse his field and is tackled at the 20-yard line. He was out of room going to the far sideline, reversed his field, and then was stopped by John McCormick. Well, that's playing the option very well. The Spartans went right down the line, and nobody went to... Uh, Art, they had the pitch man covered, and he just really had nowhere to go. That was an awfully long run for one yard. It's third down and 10 now at the 20-yard line. This is where the original series began with the touchback. Donnelly in motion to the short side of the field. The ball is given off to Donnelly. Donnelly eludes a tackler, but is tripped up at the 26 or 7-yard line. Short of the first down as Mike Marshall stayed at home and made the stop. So Tom Orris will have to come in and kick into the wind. It's a pretty cute call, though, on third and ten. You get uh, your flanker coming around on that one. Doug Donnelly, for a questionable guy, is uh, there's Orris. He gets ready to put his foot into the ball. Steve Smith, the deep man for Michigan State. High pass from center. It's blocked. And Michigan State will, of course, get the football. The kick was blocked. Michigan State really stormed the gates, and Orris didn't have a chance. And suddenly there's some exuberance uh, on the Spartan sidelines. The step wasn't all that high. Uh, Tom was just a little slow, taking an extra step going off of it, and uh, the Spartans are certainly in great position on the Buckeye 8. Well, Michigan State gets it first and goal at the eight-yard line now. Brian Clark is the quarterback. The backs are in an eye. Smith is the eye back. The ball is given off to Smith. Smith to the five, and that's it. Hit at the five-yard line by Keith Ferguson. Scott Bell also gets up there along with Tim Sawicki. However, the gain is three from the eight down to the five, so it is second and goal at the five. That's the second kick that Ohio State has blocked the first time UCLA 
converted it into an easy touchdown. We'll see whether Michigan State does the same. Clark hands off to Smith. Smith is hit behind the line of scrimmage by Jerome Foster. Loss on the play. Foster and Jimmy Laughlin again. Boy, that Foster is quick for a tackle. Jimmy Laughlin came in right beside him, and they just swallowed Smith back at the original line of scrimmage. Watch it on the replay. He takes the handoff, and there is Jerome Foster, Bamo, and helping clean up Jimmy Laughlin. Foster doesn't have to get steamed up for this game. He is from Detroit, Michigan, and undoubtedly played against a number of these Michigan State players. Clark back to pass, throws the quick line, oh, incomplete. Over the head of Eugene Bird, and we're glad to see Bird is back in the lineup. Yes, and uh, Brian is on his seat again as he took the hit after he let the ball go, and he threw it way out of the end zone. It didn't have a prayer. But Brian Clark took another shot, so three plays net them absolutely nothing after the great break on the block punt. You know, Marv, the Buckeyes have scored four times. They've turned the ball over three times. A fumble, an interception, and now a block punt. Anderson. Well, no. Spartans are not going to. They're going to go for the six points. Your goal doesn't do them a whole ton of good. Jimmy Laughlin's trying to quiet the crowd now for Brian Clark. Clark. With a split back formation, this is their passing offense. Gets the ball, rolls to the right, his right throws it upfield, incomplete, and Ohio State holds. A fine defensive stand. Beautiful pursuit on uh, Brian Clark, but it didn't really matter. Had he completed the pass, Vince Skillings had the man nailed at about the six-yard line. They were going to make two if they completed the pass, and that's all. And Vince Skillings gets a friendly pat from defensive coordinator Dennis Frizzell as he comes off and you see the Buckeye cheerleaders praising the defense. It was a great defensive stand. So give a lot of credit to that Buckeye defense. Michigan State didn't gain a thing. Here's Ohio now, ready to put the ball in play. The ball is given off to Bali. Bali tries left tackle and gets two yards to the 10. Otis and that man, Bernie Hay, there to make the stop. Donald goes in motion to the right. Placer with the ball, options, going to keep it, and gets two yards to the 12-yard line. And five shoulders in his back. He really got buried. Dan Bass put the first shoulder in there and smacked Sleister down, and then uh, well, there were a number of others. And third and five. And they have failed on their last three third down attempts. They've had 10 yards to go on all three of them and didn't come close through an interception and incompletion. And Don, they made seven a moment ago. They need six big ones now. The score is 28 to nothing in favor of Ohio State. Donnelly starts in motion to the left. Fleister back to pass, gets good protection. Throws one over the middle, it is caught! At the 30 yard line by Gary Williams. And Williams was well covered. The man we talked about early in this third quarter hadn't caught one. Art has a lot of time, nice protection he's getting there. And he finally spots number 44, Gary Williams, and you're right, he did. Great coverage, a great catch out on the 30. That's an 18-yard pickup, the 15th first down. First down for the Buckeyes now at their own 30-yard line. Schleister looking into the sun. Gives the ball off to Bolly. Bolly on a slant play goes to the 39. Rick Bolly, the ball carrier, and Dan Bass, the fine left interior linebacker, makes the stop at the Ohio State 39. And now the Buckeyes have a little room to operate, and this is what they didn't have on the first series of downs. Wide to the left is Gary Williams, and the left slot is Doug Donnelly. I mean, those two are a handful if you're a defender. The ball is given off to Bolly. Bolly squirts through the middle, gets the first down, and comes out to the 47. Jack Kirkling hangs on and ultimately makes the tackle. That's the 16th Ohio State first down of the game. Again, two wide receivers to the left. This time it is Chuck Hunter and Doug Donnelly. Schleister handing off to Bolly, who spins off the tackler and goes to midfield. Rick 
Folly running from the fullback spot. That's 97 yards for Rick Volley now, Marv. We have the Popolis boys on the sidelines waiting to get in. Hope Toledo comes in. Big number 87. Jaco has played tackle and tight end. He's had an immense contribution to this ball club this year. A fifth year player, Mark. Has a fine attitude. In motion now goes Donnelly to the left. Back to or Sleister rolls to the left. Going to throw across the green. He's got Doug, uh, Donnelly, I believe, and Donnelly is pulled down at the Michigan State 38-yard line. That was some pass. You can see it again. Watch Doug, uh, Art is clear off bounds as he turns all the way around. Now throws it almost backwards to Doug Donnelly, and he's got it to the 38-yard line. A great play. 12-yard pickup. Line of scrimmage, the Michigan State 38. Ohio State on the march once again. Sleister gives off to Bolly. Bolly finds a hole, and can't quite stay on his feet to the 23-yard line. First down, Ohio State. He really explodes over the 100-yard mark with that one, and he's got it down to the 23-yard line. Watch number 22. Boy, I'll tell you, he breaks more tackles. He did a little dance trying to get away from that man. He gained four more yards, and he's got it down to the 23. And there is some excellent blocking in the middle of that line. Center Tom Wall, guard Ernie Andrea, and guard Ken Fritz. They have just done a superb job for nearly this entire season. There's the reverse pivot. It's handed off to Donnelly on a reverse. He gets away from one man and then runs out of room and they get him at the 22. That is Hicks on the reverse. You're seeing an awful lot of that reverse action with Donnelly and Hicks now. I think Doug's carried it uh, three or four times and I think that's the third time for Ty Hicks. The gain is two and a half, perhaps three yards. Let's call it second and seven. The line of scrimmage is at the 21. Hunter and Donnelly to the right. Oh, offside. Tim Looked like Tim Burke missed the starting count there and fired out across the line of scrimmage. And there will be a five-yard penalty against Ohio State. Might have a little draw. Sleaster to pass. His rush runs out of trouble. Throws one up field incomplete. Williams was the nearest man to the ball, but to be honest, I think Sleister just, just wanted to get rid of it. He was in the vicinity. That's about all you can give it. So now they're going to have a third and 13, I think. Earl Bruce is a little upset at one of the Buckeyes. <laughs> Maybe not a little upset. Well, he's calmly holding his hands behind his back and muttering into his mouthpiece. I have the feeling someone didn't do what he was supposed to. Third and 13 at the Spartan 26. Sleister to pass. They pick up the blitz. It's thrown to Conley. He is still on his feet and now bounced down at the 11. And hurt. He really got a shot, I'll tell you then, from Richard Milhaus. Touching out the middle guard very well, and that's a well-thrown ball to Doug. Doug tries to get a little extra yard. He's spinning around, and he got one right in the ribs that I think were sore before the game started. 19 first downs for the Buckeyes as they move to the 11-yard line. The Michigan State secondary will be having nightmares tonight with that number 47. He has just given them a fist. First and 10 at the Spartan 11. Tyrone Hicks goes in motion to the left. Sleister options, keeps it, and is bounced down at the eight-yard line. He wanted to pitch the ball off, but he just couldn't do it. They had uh, Murray well covered. Our ground camera now takes a look at it. As usual, you're right. He would like to pitch it, but there's no one to give it to. Uh, Jaco got his man out of the way, but the pursuit was very good, so Art's held to a long three. Second down and seven, the line of scrimmage is the Michigan State eight-yard line. Time running down here in the third period as Donnelly goes in motion to the left. Slaster 
handing off to Bali, and he is upset at the six-yard line. It, it, it's it's Murray. Murray. Murray tripped over uh, Rick Bali's feet on that one. He could have uh, jumped, but uh, he ran right into him. And so Calvin only got another uh, short yard. Now Earl's got a third and five situation. He's trying to figure out exactly what we're going to call. And he's called it. Wide to the right is Tyrone Hicks. The backs are in an eye. The line of scrimmage is six. It is third down. Hicks goes in motion to the left now. Sleister rolls to the right. Going to run. It's a five, four, three. Touchdown. Sleister standing up. What a run. Wasn't that a picture run, Marv? Changed directions, got hit at about the five, and then spun away from it. Now watch it here. He doesn't even fake the handoff. He's just got a nice escort out there in front. Got a couple of good blocks. Now he hurdles that man, breaks that tackle, breaks another tackle. He's into the end zone, six yards. From the ground camera, we're going to have another look at it. This is going to be, watch this now. It's Rick Volley's out there in front. He puts his shoulder down. Art busts over that man, runs out of that tackle. Six-yard touchdown. 34 to nothing now. Anakievsky in to try the extra point. This is his fifth attempt of the day. It is set down, kicked right through there. Bullseye. 35 to nothing, Ohio State on top. Listen, that was some kind of a march, too. After the block punt, the Buckeye defense held on the eight. The offense got the ball on its own eight yard line, went 92 yards. In 16 plays, this, of course, being the last one, as you see it again, Art jumps over the block there by, jo by Joe Lukens and then breaks two tackles and goes on in. Now from the ground camera. We're going to run this and back again. This will be a picture play that Coach Earl Bruce could put in his playbook. I'll tell you, that's the way they're running. There's Ethos kick. A floater going downfield. It takes it's taken at the eight by Ellis. Ellis upfield of the 20, the 25, the 30, and he's out to about the 32-yard line. Stop is made by Kevin Olman, a freshman from Maumee, Ohio. Well, I'd be surprised, Marv, if we don't see another flood of reserves as they did it last week when they beat Wisconsin 59 in the third quarter. Earl Bruce started substituting heavily. Brian Clark is still in there for the Spartans at quarterback. Wide to the left is Eugene Bird. Williams to the right. The ball is handed off to the first man through Andy Schramm, and Schramm gets to the 35. Marcus Merrick gets him at that point. They're going to give a few more yards out of the about the 37. Now Middleton comes in and Schramm goes out at the fullback position for Michigan State. Second down and five at the Spartan 37. Clark to Steve Smith. He's got a first down, a good run to the 45-yard line. Tackled by Marcus Merrick, number 36 at Richmond. We'll see Greg Castagnola now uh, warming up on the sidelines and all probability will go in in the next series of downs for the Buckeye offense. Michigan State is just now tucked up its fifth first down. Linus to meets the Michigan State 45, first and 10 for the Spartans. Four minutes left. Ellis and Schramm now the running backs for Michigan State. Ohio State shifts its defense. The ball is given off to Schramm, and Schramm goes nowhere. Hit solidly by Marcus Merrick and by Jerome Foster. Absolutely nowhere to go. You run into a stone wall with number 55, Jerome Foster, and that freshman, Marcus Merrick, 36, is really becoming a fine linebacker. He wears a good number, too, 36. He's kind uh, of one proud of it. Great linebackers Ohio State has had, and they've had a boatload of them. It was Tom Cousinall. He wore 36. Second and 10. Clark with the ball. Fakes. Goes back to pass. Has time. Throws it over the middle. Throws it too high. Incomplete. Two Buckeyes appeared to run together there. Pass was incomplete. Looked like Ferguson and Skilly collided. 
not very well thrown either. Uh, when uh, Brian Clark has time to throw, he sometimes does throw well, but he hasn't so far today. There is a shot alongside the Ohio State bench. You see Greg Castagnola warming up. Third down and 10, line of scrimmage, the 46-yard line in Michigan State Territory. Mark the pass. Throws a deep one upfield. Yes, can't get it. It's incomplete. Intended receiver was Jim Williams, but Mark didn't get the ball to him. Yes was actually nearer to the ball, but he couldn't get it. So it is fourth down, and Stakowicz will come in to kick for Michigan State. Line of scrimmage to Spartan 46. Steps forward, boots it, and he'll just kick it into the end zone. Easily. So it's a touchback, and Ohio will get it first and 10 at the 20. And I suspect we'll have some new men in there for Ohio State. Yeah, there's quite a phone, Dwelly. Uh, there's Rick Castagnola coming in at quarterback. We'll fill you in on our statistics as Greg Castagnola takes over at quarterback. Hicks goes in motion, Castagnola with the ball. Hands off to the fullback, and Bali gets short yardage to the 23. Whole middle of the Spartan line is there to get him. The Spartans have defended the run much, much better than they have the pass. Hunter to the right as Hicks goes in motion to the left. Pitch out, goes to Murray. Murray tries the left side, is trapped, gets away, gets a first down to the 30-yard line. A fine, determined run by Calvin Murray. That was great individual effort. He had some blocking at the wing, but then it broke down, and he got the rest of the yardage on his own. He runs right through it there. Good traffic, and Rick Bolley is out there blocking as well he can. Bernie Hay, the fine middle guard, went all the way to the uh, near sideline there to make the stop, and he limps off the field. I'm afraid he's hurt his leg. He's a fine defensive player. Craig Converse comes in to replace him. First and 10 at the Buckeye 31. The ball is given off to Bolly, and Bolly hammers off right guard to about the 34. Rick Bali. His full name is Ricardo Cortez Bali. Paul Campbell uh, sitting on the bench there, uh, inactive a week ago, and he has seen very little action so far in this ball game. Hi, Mom. Paul has a foot injury that has been a little slow to heal. He's got a great attitude, I'll tell you that. Yes, he does. Hicks in motion to the left. Castagnola. Wags the ball off, keeps it on an option, and goes to the 39. John McCormick, the outside linebacker, who plays his defensive position very effectively is there to make the stop. McCormick's made a number of tackles for Michigan State today. Third down and two now at the Ohio State 39. Time is running out here in the third period. 35 to nothing, Ohio State winning. Wide to the right is Gary Williams. Hicks in motion right. Castagnola to Bali off left tackle. He has a first down. And Bali hammers into the 42. That's nine out of 12 first downs they've converted on a third down situation. Mark. 21 first downs for the game. Very, very impressive afternoon for both the offense and the defense. Two wide receivers to opposite sides, but now Hicks starts in motion. Pitch out goes to Murray. Murray tries the left side. He's out of bounds. He did, however, get to the 48-yard line. Mark Anderson is there to make sure that he goes out of bounds. And that well, now that'll stop the clock. Yes, Third quarter winds down, Marv. I might give you quickly Art Schleister's unofficial statistics uh, for less than three quarters of play. He was nine out of 14 throwing 
170 yards, two touchdowns, and he ca carried the ball nine times for 33 yards, two more touchdowns. Not a bad half a game's work. No, indeed. Castagnola to Bali up the middle, big hole, and Bali pulls his way to the Spartan 42. First down, Ohio State. The clock shows five seconds left. They stop it just temporarily to move the sticks. And that'll just about do it. Now they start it up and it runs down. So that now is the end of the third quarter with a score. Ohio State 35, Michigan State nothing. We'll be right back with the start of the fourth quarter after this brief pause. This is the Ohio Public Broadcasting Network. One of the guests here at homecoming today. And a representative of the Gator Bowl and the Liberty Bowl. Pitch back goes to Spencer. Spencer off the left side. Fights his way to the Michigan State 36. Tim Spencer put his shoulder down and ran right over Mark Anderson on that one. I tell you, this freshman from St. Clairsville is going to be a good one. He is running with more and more authority as he becomes familiar with the Ohio State offense. This is not an easy offense to learn. They do a lot of things. Second down and five at the Spartan 36. Castagnola back to pass, throws a bomb upfield. It is batted down incomplete. Listen, that was a great play by Gary Williams because that was going to be an interception. Gary saw he couldn't get the ball and he wasn't going to let it be stolen. You watch Gary Williams as we take another look at it in the replay. Greg Castagnola really winds up and uncorks one here. Now watch what Gary Williams did. He knocked it right out of the interceptor's hands. That's right. The offensive man tipped the ball away from the defensive player. All right, it is third and five now. Ball back at the Spartan 36. Kicks to the left. The ball is given off to Belmer. Belmer spins off the tackler and gets to the 32 or three. He is close to a first down, but I think he's a little short. Well, he's very short now as they put the ball down to 33. Line of scrimmage to 33. They must go to the 32 for a first down. Casting Nola, options, pitches it off to Spencer, and he is going to be close. He's got it. all according to where they mark the out-of-bounds play. The linesman put his foot right about at the 31, and they've got it. It is marked exactly at the 31-yard line, and that'll be a first down for Ohio State. And Earl Bruce seems quite pleased about that as his Buckeyes go back into action. Hicks. Starts in motion, they give the ball off to Belmer, and Belmer runs off right guard to the Michigan State 26. Stephen Otis, interior linebacker, and Jack Kirkland, the left tackle, stop it. As always, uh, Jim Barry and Dick Finn doing a fine job of spotting, and Rocky Johnston, our statistician, has been very busy with the many, many impressive yardage that the Buckeyes have piled up today, various individuals. Second down and five at the 26. Hicks to the right, Gary Williams to the left. Castagnola back to pass, has time, throws in the end zone. Over the head of Williams, incomplete. Williams and an uh-oh, flag is dropped. Interference will be called at the four-yard line, but it might be off. Let's see who pushed who. Did Williams push? Well, let's see. Greg is signaling over to Coach Earl Bruce on the sidelines. The official is saying... Offensive interference, Mark. Offensive interference, it was Gary Williams who pushed off. So that costs you a down, if my memory is this correct. Is correct. It isn't always. Well, it is in that case, Mark. Uh, we were wrong a couple of weeks ago, or I was. I'll explain that later. Back to passes, Castagnola has time. Overthrows his man incomplete. Hunter had hooked in at the 25-yard line and was there, but Castagnola just didn't get the ball to him. The line of scrimmage for Michigan State 42, so even if Forrest kicks it in the end zone, he'll only get a 42-yard punt. High pass from center. Forrest is going to kick into the end zone. He's going to kick out of the end zone. Ball hits about eight yards deep and is killed in the end zone. So the Spartans will get it first and 10 at the 20-yard line. 
the offensive interference call is what pretty well killed that drive, although you're leading 35 to nothing, I guess. Well, in that last offensive series, there were a lot of reserves in. Uh, and now on defense, we again have a number of uh, second stringers. Ryan Clark still in there at quarterback for Michigan State. That's a Clark. Hands off to the eye back, Smith. Smith gets away from one man and then is pulled down at the 23 by Norman Burroughs. There you see Doug Donnelly. He has reason to smile and be happy. He's had some ball game catching and running. Donnelly has the intriguing nickname of White Lightning. Five catches, 122 yards. Some, some kind of a day. Clark. From the 22, drops back the pass. Goes over the middle, it is caught at the 30-yard line and returned to about the 37 by Jim Williams. Burroughs made the tackle. Mark it at the 38. That's a 15-yard gain. You're going to see it again here now. He has a little time to throw. It's just a little jumper over the middle. Man's wide open. It's a 15-yard pickup. That may be their biggest gain of the day. First and 10 for the Spartans at the Michigan State 38-yard line. Williams to the right for the Spartans. Clark gets the ball, hands off to his eye back, Smith. Smith to the right side to the 40, the 43, and the boundary. Knocked out by Mike DeAndrea, outside linebacker, and by Doyle Lewis, who comes up from the left cornerback position. Now you got Tony McGarrell. Uh, at a linebacker spot, uh, almost a second team all the way down the line. There's some pretty people. So homecoming queen in court. Second down and five at the Spartan 43. We're in the fourth quarter, 12 minutes and one second left. Five-man line for Ohio State. The defense is in there pretty tight. Back to pass is Clark, throws a little quickie. It is caught by Williams, and he's upset at midfield. Doyle Lewis got him with the shoe tops and made the tackle. There he is, Doyle, uh, isolated by our camera, catches the ball right about the 50, and that's as far as he gets. Down he goes. That second stringer's in there for the OSU defense, Marv, with the exception of tackles Gary Doolin and Jerome Foster. Mark from midfield. Pitches the ball back to Smith. Smith around the left side is going to get pulled down for a loss. Ben Lee. Ben Lee from Canton, Ohio. Sophomore. Six foot, 212 pounder. Makes the stop. Pretty good football player. Hasn't had too much of a chance to play. And now Foster comes off the game. Here you'll see the pitch back to Smith. Watch Benny Lee come into your picture. He gets him by the back of the shirt, and down he goes. A three-yard sack. That's a loss of three. Second down and 13 at the Spartan 46. Clark to pass. Has time. A lot of time. He loses one man, and then falls down. Although, there to make sure he falls down is rangy Chris Reed. Big six foot seven inch freshman. Chris oh, Reed's got his arm on him, right, Marv? He brought him down. But the sack belongs to Reed. Figuring that Clark will have to throw long, it is third and 23. Gonna have to throw 23 yards if he wants to keep the football. Back to passes Clark. He does throw long, and it's going to get intercepted by Ohio State. Picked off there by number 28. That would be Murphy. Bobby Murphy. Bobby Murphy intercepts this. Watch it. This is just a poorly thrown ball. He had all kinds of time to throw that, and Bobby Murphy is the only one there. And he plucks it off at the 30-yard line. So the Ohio State Buckeyes get the football back. There are only 10 men on the field now for Ohio State. They're frantically signaling for a tackle to come out there. It's tough to run on the ground without that tackle. 
Jim DeLeon is the center. Tom Levinick, the other tackle. There's the ball handed off to Belmer. Belmer running laterally is tackled at the 32. Just couldn't find that hole. Wasn't there. <laughs> I guess that's why they couldn't find it. One of the reasons. <laughs> so it's a one-yard gain, second down and nine. Line of scrimmage is the 31, where they put it down. 35 to nothing, Ohio State winning big, and the Buckeyes have been extremely impressive. The offense has been sharp. The defense has played well. They've done about all you could ask. Casting Nola. Handing off to Belmer. Belmer hits into the middle, crosses the 35, and gets to the 36 and a half. Ron Mitchum makes the tackle. I watched Daryl Rogers across the way, arms folded, taking it all very calmly, solemnly. He knows they'll be back. They're down to only, I think, 80 on Grant's Marv. So the, the probation hurt, but he said, uh, we'll take our licking and our lumps and we'll come back. Hicks goes in motion. Castagnola hands off to Spencer. Spencer, a big hole up the middle, and he's all the way to the 45-yard line. First down, Ohio State. Well, I like that pressure. Mm -hmm. 23 first downs. Look at it again. He fakes to his right on the sweep and now takes the handoff from Greg Castagnola. Good blocking right up the middle. Good acceleration, too. Spencer has run extremely hard today. In motion is Hicks to the right. Ball is given off to Belmer, the first man through. He's across the 50 to the Michigan State 45. That's close to a first down, a little bit short. It's nine long ones, though. Cliff Belmer making the most of his opportunity. As Rick Volley gets a well-deserved rest, well over 100 yards in this ball game, and Paul Campbell really not used at all. The eye back is Tim Spencer. As Hicks goes in motion to the right. Castagnola pitches back to Spencer. Spencer off right tackle. Runs through one man and then runs into all kinds of trouble. Knocked the Michigan State man 10 yards off the, the sideline. That was Mark Anderson again. He ran over Mark Anderson a while ago. And this time he gives him a little left stiff arm. Watch Tim Spencer now. The freshman from St. Clairsville. Good footwork there. Now he gets away from this tackle. Gets over there, puts his shoulder into that man. Now watch Mark Anderson. He just levels him with the left, and <laughs> on he goes. First and 10, the ball is at the Michigan State 40. Castagnola rides the ball into Belmer. Belmer into the middle of the 37 and a half, and Bernie Hay, a fine middle guard, and Steve Otis are there to make the stop. Spencer, uh, Tim Spencer has 42 yards, Marv, in five carries. Some of those have been tough yards where he has just lowered the boom and just blasted away. Good looking rookie. Good running rookie. Casting Nola. Keeps it. Goes five. Gets four. Gets down to the 30. First down, Ohio State. Rick casting Nola on a quarterback draw play. You don't see that very often, but Rick ran it well. He, that's 25 first downs uh, now, and he faked that ball to Belmer and then followed him through the middle. Whether Belmer was supposed to take the ball or not doesn't matter. Greg did the right thing, went right behind him. I think that's the way it was designed. First and 10 Ohio State, the line of scrimmage, the Michigan State 30, seven minutes and five seconds left in this game. Ohio State's on their way to possibly another score. There is Belmer hammering off left tackle to the 24. And they're just chewing up the Michigan State line now. This is a reserve unit for Ohio State, but they're playing well. And that's mostly the Michigan State's uh, first unit in there on defense. Your big favorite, uh, Bernard Hayes, still there over the center, playing over Jim DeLone. Second down and four. Ball is at the Michigan State 24. Ball's pitched back to Spencer. He's got good blocking, and he's undercut at the 20-yard line. Well, Mark Anderson, who is down and flat. He's probably sorry he undercut Spencer. Mark Anderson has had a terrible time with Tim Spencer, who's twice now run over him. 
And uh, it's going to be a long plane ride back to East Lansing for floor number 16. First and 10, the clock is running. Castagnola with the ball, gives it off to Belmer. Belmer into the middle and east of the 15-yard line. Hay and Decker are there to make the stop for Michigan State. You know, it's been nine quarters now, Marv, since an opponent has scored against the Buckeyes. The defense trying their best to get their second straight shutout. They had a scare when uh, the Buckeyes had a kick blocked at the eight-yard line, but uh, the defense stopped them. Casting Nola back to pass, gets the protection, throws it in the flat. Spencer juggles the ball and then can't hold it. Spencer was well covered, and yet that was a catchable pass. Well, he had it in his hands, and then uh, just as he made contact, the defensive man, you'll watch it here now as he cuts downfield. The ball hits him there. Now the defender hits him, and he tries to get the ball, and the guy pulls him away from it. Nice defensive play. Ball comes back to the 15-yard line. It is third and six. To the right is Gary Williams and Tyrone Hicks. The eye back is Spencer. Castagnola with the ball. Options. Going to run and gets to the 10. His shoulder touched the ground a little bit outside the 10-yard line. It's going to be, oh, they put it clear back to the 11. I think they hooked him on the third there, but... Uh, Michigan State came up short uh, way back in the second quarter, I believe. So now it becomes fourth and a yard and a half. Fourth down and a yard and a half to go for a first down. The ball is nearly at the 11-yard line where they have it spotted. Five minutes and five seconds left. Two wide receivers to the right. Michigan State goes into a virtual goal line defense. Belmer hits into the middle. No, oh, it's uh, Casting Gray. He's got a first down. Greg kept it and fooled them all. And he's happy. I'll tell you, this, there's a senior also out of Michigan. Trenton, Michigan, and he got uh, three yards on that one. The 26th first down. Look at on the ground here now. Watch him hang on to the football. Put his head down and barrels in there for three. First, Rick Castagnola is no ordinary second-string quarterback. He's a good football player. He just happens to be on the same team as a guy by the name of Art Sleister, who might be the best in college football. Not bad. Belmer off right guard to the five-and-a-half-yard line. And Bernie Hay is in there once again to make the stop for Michigan State. What a game he has played. This is a pretty good drive, Marv, by the second unit. They've had the ball now almost, well, over six minutes, just about six minutes. And they've marched it right down the field very efficiently. Greg Castagnola at the controls. Castagnola gets that ball on the option, and he's close. He's right around the goal line. Let's see. We'll wait for them to unpile. He is right around the goal line. Tackle. Evidently stopped just inches short. Tackle Tom Levenick put his hands up and called it a touchdown. And Greg says, shucks, I thought I had it. Watch him here now. I'll tell you, he's a strong, strong quarterback. He puts that head down and just barrels ahead. <laughs> he, he wanted in there. Look where he's got it. If there were a little dust on the end of the football, it would be on the goal line. That's there that close. Well, almost that close. Third down and can't be more than an inch to go for a first down. Casting Nola sets Hicks in motion. Gives it to, no, keeps it. Touchdown, Casting Nola off left guard. You won't going to take any chances on that one. They went 70 yards hard in 15 plays. Greg Castagnola leading the way. He's the one who went on over. That took them over 500 yards for the ball game. 502 unofficially, 85 yards. Watch again from our ground camera now. Good line blocking there. Boy, there's a great charge off the line. And he just he kept the ball fake to Belmer, and he went in. Dan Bass, the fine linebacker of Michigan State, is being helped to the sideline. I sure hope that injury isn't serious. Anakievsky in to try the extra point. It is set down. It is kicked, and it is good. 
42 to nothing as Anikievsky is six out of six. And this Buckeye second team offense has looked very effective. Atha kicks long downfield, eight yards deep in the end zone. It's dropped by Ellis and he down it. So the Spartans will take over, first and 10 at the Michigan State 20. And we'll see who the Michigan State quarterback is. Number 11. That isn't Brian Clark. That's uh, well, that's another freshman, Marv. That's John Vilha. Oh, go in there. Number nine is in there. It's Otis Ring, the big boy from Atlanta. Also a big, rangy freshman. Six feet four. Grant gets the ball, rolls back to the right, is in trouble, eludes the tackler, runs to the left, and uh, then sort of falls down at the 25th yard line. A good recovery by Grant. Well, he wanted to live to play another day. Tony McGarrow was zeroing in on him, and well, this is definite pass. He drops very deep, and McGarrow overran ran him. So he goes straight up the middle, and now he says, whoops, let's get down and out of trouble. As McGarrow comes back, and Brian Schwartz, but that's six yards. Second down and four, the line of scrimmage, the 26. Grant looks over a four-man defensive line for Ohio State. Double coverage on both wide receivers. Grant hands off to McClelland, and McClelland gets, oh, perhaps two yards. Tom Blinko, a senior from Lewiston, New York, makes the tackle for Ohio State. Tom Blinko, number 29, a fine linebacker. It's too bad they don't have a Richmond in fullback, then Grant can hand off to Richmond. Some defense. Grant needed about two feet to go, and he didn't get it. Watch him. He has stood straight up, and uh, they, in fact, were a little generous with what they did give him, I believe. Tony McGarrow really wrestles him to the ground, and I expect they'll try to keep it and make it on fourth down with only a minute and seven, 15 seconds and the clock ticking. McGarrow probably meets rushing plays as good as any linebacker on the Buckeye squad. There is a give to Ellis, and Ellis is tripped up as he goes to the 32. Well, that's small consolation. They did get the first down uh, with a minute left in this ball game, but they're down 42 to zip, and this makes it eight in a row for the Buckeyes, Marv, and they are well on their way to somewhere. That's only seven first downs, incidentally, in the ball game for the Spartans. Buckeye defense has just played an outstanding game again today. This Very is the third straight week. And we said third straight week, over 500 yards on offense. And there is a pitch out to Smith. Smith runs into trouble and is smacked at the 30-yard line by Tony McGarrow. Hey, McGarrow is getting his money's worth. Well, Mark Sullivan at the middle guard spot just exploded in there, and he got a piece of... Uh, Smith's legs, but he ran away, and then McGarrow cleaned it up, of course, and that's uh, almost a two-yard loss. It is second down and 12. Glenn Cobb, the fine freshman from Miami Trace, will report in. That'll just about do it. They'll never get this off, Mark. No, no, three seconds. Center is out over the ball, but that ought to do it. And it's all over, and the Ohio State Buckeyes have very thoroughly trounced Michigan State today. 42 to nothing, and it has been just an excellent performance by Ohio State, both on offense and defense. Earl Bruce runs over there, congratulates Darrell Rogers.